Welcome back. In this episode we're gonna set up the camera to follow the player even on curved segments. And we'll also create a script that gradually zooms the camera in and out depending on the size of the player. So let's go. Let's start off by making the camera follow the player. First and foremost let's select the player object and make sure that the player transform is assigned. If it isn't then take the child object and drag it into this field. Next up let's go into the scripts folder and create a new one called camera holder. Once you have it select the camera holder object and assign the script to it. Let's open it up and get to work. First of all let's delete everything that we don't need in here. Next we'll need a private transform variable called player transform and we'll also serialize the field. Now that we have a reference to our player transform, we will create an update method and in here we're gonna assign the player's position to our current transform. So basically the camera holder follows the player now. In this case we also could have written transform.position equals to player transform.position, but in this case I prefer it this way because in the future we might want to add a slight offset on one of the axes. Alright, once you're done typing, let's go back into the editor, select the camera holder object and drag in the player to the player transform field. Alright, we should be done here, so let's press play and see if it works. I'm fast as, fast, boy. as you can see it does, but the player is a bit too fast at the moment. So let's select the player object and in the path follower component let's change the speed from 20 to 3.5. Alright, that looks better, and even though it might seem like this is a bit too slow, when we will add all the obstacles and gates, the player will have much less time to react, so I think this value is perfect. According to analytics, 89% of the viewers are not subscribed. So if this content is helpful to you and you want me to make more, make sure to like, subscribe and consider becoming a Patreon. This is a really small channel, so it would help me out immensely. Thanks a lot. Now let's get back to the video. The next step for us is to set up the camera rotation correctly, even when the player is on a curved path. So let's get back into the camera holder script and in here we will adjust the transforms Euler angles. We're gonna make them equal to a new vector 3 where we take the player transforms Euler angles on the X and the Y and on the Z we're gonna leave 0 because we don't need any sideway rotation. Alright, now to test it out we need to go back into Unity and make the path curved. So let's select the road creator object, create a new point by pressing shift click and drag this point to the side. You don't need to make it look perfect for now, this is just for testing, so once you're done just press play. And as you can see now the camera is pointing in the right direction. But besides that we have a slight issue and that is the fact that we are losing the initial rotation of the camera holder. So let's fix that by going back to the camera holder script and creating a new private vector 3 called initial rotation. Inside the awake method we're gonna say that the initial rotation equals to the transform Euler angles. And inside the update method we're gonna add that initial rotation to the x and y axis of our transform Euler angles. So if you press play now you'll see that we maintain the tilt that we had in the beginning. Great job! Let's quickly reset the path so that it's straight again and move on to the next point which is zooming the camera in and out. Let's start this step by creating a new script called camera controller. And in order to keep the project clean and structured, let's also create a folder called camera and let's drag these two scripts inside it. And while we're at it, let's also create another folder called player and drag the player movement script in here. And when you're done, select the main camera object and drag the camera controller script onto it. Now let's open the script and delete everything in here that we don't need, as we do usually. And the purpose of the script will be very simple. It will move the main camera object back and forth in a similar fashion to what you're seeing on the screen right now. So let's start implementing this behavior. The first variable that we'll need in here is a private vector 3 called initial position. And let's serialize the field so we can assign it in the editor. The second one will be a vector 3 as well called max position. Then we'll need an update method and finally a private float called progress. We'll serialize this one as well and we'll also use the range attribute to make sure that the value stays between 0 and 1. When you're done declaring all the variables, let's assign the transform's position by using the lerp function. 
As you can see in this case, we're lerping between two vectors, between the initial position and the maximum position. And as the interpolant parameter, we're using the progress variable. Now let's get back into the editor, and in the initial position, we're going to put the current position of our main camera. Now let's drag the camera back and assign these positions as the maximum position. Now let's press play to test it out and you're gonna see that the player goes off screen because I didn't reset our road properly. So let's exit play mode and select the road creator object and you're gonna see that we still have the middle point off to the side. Let's hover over it and press ctrl click in order to delete it. Now that we have a straight path you can press play again and you're gonna see that the camera does indeed zoom in and out but this time it doesn't follow the player. And that's because we should have been changing the local position of our transform not the global position so let's quickly make that change in the code. We can also create an awake method and in here we're gonna assign the transform's local position to be equal to the initial position. By doing this we are resetting the camera position to the initial one every time we enter the game, just in case we forget to do it manually. Alright, if you press play now you'll see that the camera does indeed follow the player and you can also tweak the progress slider in order to zoom the camera in and out. So everything works well here indeed, but I'm noticing small jitters when it comes to the camera movement. So let's go back into the camera controller script and change the update method to late update, just because it works much better and smoother when it comes to camera movement. Great job, now we have a fully functional camera. And just to make it clear, the zooming in and out is not going to be manual in the future, rather we are going to do it automatically based on the player size. But for now we have everything we need and we have a strong foundation for the future. That's it for this episode. As always, I want to thank you a lot for watching and I want to give a huge shout out to all the Patreon supporters who contributed this month. JR, Walter Satizan, Alp Carlos Manoglu, Jen Monterubio, Kono, Cupcake, Stuart Gomez Tales, Kale Del Shibi, George Mulcahy, Toby Ladipo, and Frederick Russell. Thanks a lot guys, you are really great. That's it for today, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and keep making games.